Good evening, folks. This is Longshot1982 here with another statue review. Today, I am super happy to bring to you the Colossus Premium Format figure by Sideshow Collectibles. Uh, Colossus's real name is Peter Rasputin. Uh, his first appearance is displayed here in 1975's Giant Size X-Men number one. Now, originally, he is, um, he's from Siberia, he's in Russia, and he was a humble farm worker. Uh, of course, his life changed a little bit after he was recruited by Professor X, after he was noticed, tra his uh, transformation, after he was noticed doing it, uh, into his organic steel form to rescue his sister, Iliana, which actually winds up being later as the Dark Child. But that's for another review. Uh, this is my favorite character in the 90s X-Men arcade game. This piece is absolutely, well, colossal. The thing's 24 inches high from base to the tip of his head. Uh, there is an exclusive version of this with him actually. Let me just take the head off so I can show you up a little closer. Uh, this is not the exclusive head. This is the regular head. He originally was a, like I said, a humble farmer with a very strong reserve. So I decided on my own, I, I really prefer this face rather than the exclusive head, which simply has him showing his teeth. To me personally, that is a little out of character for him. He's uh, kind of a very quiet, like giant, a gentle giant type of person. But uh, please do not mess with him because your life expectancy will be drastically reduced. Um, he's um, he's fought a lot throughout the last couple of decades for the X-Men. He's been used and uh, turned into kind of like a bad guy for a short period of time. But he always finds himself going back to the X-Men uh, as a good guy because, like I said, that's, that's his nature. Now let me get a pan around for you. Let's start off with the base. It has that same redundant, boring X-Men base with the simple X on it that I'm sick of looking at with a lot of them. Thank God they started to stop doing that. And as I pass through his feet, which has beautiful detail on the um, the wrinkles, kind of like the leather texture, that's all sculpted, looks real. Uh, it's a mixed media. Uh, so the cloth costumes over here and up here. It's very nice, real belt. It's got good, like a good rubbery texture to it. Feels great. Uh, some people have altered this to uh, ruin its potential value that it has. They've cut it so he kind of looks like weathered and worn or like he was beat up in a fight. Uh, I don't know why anybody would mess with this perfect display of Colossus. This, in my personal opinion, I prefer over the Comic Cat. Uh, this is more of a stagnant pose. The Comic Cat does have the advantage in the sense of a dramatic landing that he has. Let me show you his back. His back is absolutely... It's like, it's like Arnold Schwarzenegger. It's absolutely fantastically sculpted. I mean, a lot of people complained that they said that this, the, um, the cloth kind of covered up the musculature. Uh, I don't really see that. I think it really brings out, you can see how wide his back is. I think they did a fine job with it. I really have no critique about this piece. It's heavy as all hell, which I like. The, um, the exclusive print, I think, is, was dumb. I didn't like it at all. The deep, let's get a detail on the fists clenched fist. It looks really nice. It's got the black in the joints in here. Everything was painted perfectly. Uh, there's really not too much to brag about. I mean, this is uh, the best display of Colossus that there is to date, in my own personal opinion. Uh, the next one is the Colossus Comiquette, uh, and that's got a lot of drama in it because it's, it's, it's got that nice landing pose. You know, it's got a lot of dramatic feel to it, which is good, but this is good as just like the sheer size of this thing. You know, I actually like to keep it displayed with my other comic cats because it just shows how colossal he really is. You know, uh, he's been in a lot of movies. He's been displayed. He hasn't really been, hasn't had his own limelight really. Not yet. You know, you, everyone knows who he is, but they don't really make a big deal out of it. Look at that nice side profile shot. This is a fantastic piece done. If it wasn't for this redundant X-Men base and I'm sick of seeing, I would give this a 10 out of 10. You know, otherwise than that, I'm going to give it a 9 out of 10 for its sheer awesomeness. Let me go 
scan up a little bit so you can just see how big this is. I mean, here's my hand. I got pretty big hands, you know, and it still it still overcomes it. That's going to be uh, it today for me, folks. This is Long Shot 1982. Please comment and please subscribe. Let me know what you think of this review and this beautiful statue. You guys are awesome and have a great evening.